In a recent video, I featured this Wi-Fi router that I originally thought was going to be fake and because it was so cheap. And when it arrived and I opened it up, it was basic. Well, first of all, when I plugged it into USB, I'll plug this one into USB, uh, some LEDs lit up inside, they did stuff. And once it booted up, it was ready and the network appeared and you could actually use it to extend your network like a proper repeater. I was actually trying to find a fake one and I have sourced a fake one. Here it is. And it looks similar, although it's got a horrible plasticky feel. And it's quite nice because the antennas can go around 360 degrees. And if we plug it in, it does all the correct things in the sense that it lights up blue and that means like something's connected to the internet probably. And what's bizarre is that this thing, I'll start opening this, where's my spudger? Uh, this thing had feedback from eight people who had bought it from that one listing. The feedback from three of them was this is a fake item and the feedback, oh, the circuit board's just dropped out, but I'll open it anyway. The feedback from the other five was, it's not very powerful, but you get what you pay for. And the other one's saying, plugged in and working fine. That's literally the sort of people we're playing with here. So here is the circuit board out of it. It's, uh, let me zoom down. It is blank in the back, and it has an LED and a resistor on the front. Let's make sure that's in focus. If I plug it in here. There's your blue LED. Marvellous. It's being overdriven. It's being run at about uh, 85 milliamps because it's got a 20 ohm resistor in series. Let me show you the schematic. Well, actually, before I show you the schematic, I'll show you up close up the circuit board. So we'll zoom out a bit and I shall make sure this is in focus. Uh, what we have is the USB connector, um, a fairly nice little circuit board with the LED and a 20 ohm resistor. If I was recommending that they did anything to improve the product, I'd change that to, to a 220 ohm resistor, reducing the current to about, uh, say, about 8 milliamps, which is going to prolong the life of the LED greatly. Maybe they want it to fail and start flickering because it looks like it's communicating. But the other thing I'd do is I'd use a tin circuit board and enlarge these pads a bit because they haven't really flowed the solder along the fins here that would secure this connector in better. I don't think they're too bothered about that. But the only two connections being used are the uh, positive and negative here. One going via the resistor to the LED and the other going straight to the LED with fairly big chunky sort of heat sink dissipation things. So maybe they knew that it was going to be run at high power. Let me show you the schematic, not that it will be full of any surprises. USB connector, resistor, LED. That's your Wi-Fi router. Amazing what they can do with the technology these days. So um, if you've got one of these, I mean, ultimately, I suppose that uh, people who buy these, maybe they buy it, they plug it in, they see it lit, and then convince themselves that the Wi-Fi, is a, the strength of the signal's improved. Or maybe they say, maybe, maybe it would help if we move the router a little bit and they move it to a better position and and it suddenly works a lot better because that's what they could have done in the first place. But but this is just a, a odd. I wonder, there's a market for them. There must be a market because they make them. That's all I can say. So there we have, if you get one of these little repeaters and it's got these flimsy little semi-circular, semi-cylindrical antennas that are just very floppy and it just lights up bright blue and doesn't flash, then you've probably got a fake. Might not be a fake. There is a button built onto here, but it's covered the label as if, you know, I mean, that's something if they'd put a little microcontroller inside, they could have said it's a wet button and when you push the button, it does its wee flickery light show and then goes, da -da -da -da. that's you connected. It could have done a wee dance like that and every so often jitter the LED just to make it look active. But no, they chose the very cheap option. So there we have it, uh, another fake product. It is a fake Wi-Fi repeater.